The villages of the Bijagos Islands are usually located in the interior of the islands for defensive reasons, but most of their productive activities are carried out in the sea. Here on the islands, we use very little money because no one buys anything. We fish, we have fish nearby. No one buys fish because we work to eat. We eat what we have. We eat seafood, fish, and we cultivate rice. And this is something that we should not lose, and we are. For the last few years, Bijago culture has been on the path of extinction. It's disappearing because our youths are now in school and are learning about the European culture. Our ancestors did everything according to nature. School is good for men, because by going to school you can do other jobs, but we should not forget our culture. This natural spring is for the exclusive use of the king, the queens, and his ministers. It is a sacred place. The waters that rise up from the interior of the earth at this point are blessed by the forces, which also care for the good judgment of the governors. One of the main problems that we have is the fact that the youths are leaving and no one is paying attention to the culture. The youths don't want to be initiated. The women do not have a vision of the future. They worry about the hippopotamuses and things like that. But what will happen when there is no one left to keep us up in touch with the spirits? Children die every day. They give us a health center, but there are no nurses or medicine. Why do we want an empty building where the people die because there is no one to care for them? This is why I prefer to die at my home. We don't have a teacher either. The school is there, like the hospital, but it is empty. I don't want to be queen, but if I am, I won't allow them to keep lying to us. When the authorities of Bissau come, we only get promises, but then nothing ever happens. They want to take away our power and place their friends in charge. They talk about running elections, but we have our elections here. Let them come and get to know us instead of coming to make speeches and empty promises. The most important thing is for us to be united. They try to impose their authorities, but they won't be able to if none of us offers to be a candidate in their elections. What are they going to do? Bring someone from Bubake or Bissau? If we are together, we have nothing to fear. This is where our power lies. This is our weapon. We breastfeed our children, and our daughters will be the one who breastfeed our grandchildren. Before the rice harvest begins, we have to know who will be the new queen among these three women. When the spirit arrives, no one will be able to contradict him. Meanwhile, we can only wait and not break any of the rules. She knows that. She'll know when to communicate it to us. No act can be carried out on the Bijagos Islands without the presence of the spirits. Although it is an act for the proclamation of the three temporary queens, this is carried out in front of the king's home and his collaborators officiate the ceremony. Cane liquor and palm wine are drunk at the ceremonies. Soon the celebration turns into a great drunken ritual. My dream is for the youth to return to traditional life and for us to live in peace without anyone bothering us. And I also want a doctor and a professor to come here.
les droits de la femme. Est-ce que la femme a même des droits? The rights of women? Do women have rights? It's true that in Mali they have signed international conventions which talk about equality among men and women, but honestly, the situation is quite different. The laws are dictated in favor of men. They are the ones who enjoy the monopoly. This is the reality. That is where we are. The woman waits while the man is away. She is the guardian of the temple of tradition and the engine that drives the changes of progress in Africa. Even in the most depressed areas or in the places where the rules of tradition enslaves them, there is a woman who is driving the cart of survival. They go for water and breastfeed their children. They work the land and go to the market. But they are also students, businesswomen, and artists. Here, the women are determined to fight against the established norms. I was the first one here to buy this fish. They used to throw it away. I have a very good relationship with the fishermen. There are even times when I lend them money for gasoline or for whatever. They give it back to me within a few days, weeks or months. It doesn't matter. We trust each other very much. Madame Bamba is an example of how the women, despite the many difficulties, are the true engine of the economy and the African family. They buy second-order fish, which nobody wants, then dry it and export it from Mauritania to different countries throughout Western Africa. More than 500 people depend on their job. A woman who wants to work in the movie industry does not have it easy. But not only in the movies, in all areas, in the movies, in agriculture, or in any other discipline. Women have always had problems because, in this African society, people don't understand that a woman is capable of doing the same job as a man. They say a woman's place is in the home, and her tasks are limited to taking care of her children and her husband. But if you, as a woman, get up and decide to do the same thing as a man, they call you all sorts of names, especially if you work in the movies. They say you're an easy woman. They say anything and everything. Good morning, Bamako. It's 9.30 a.m. at Radio Dembe, 104.8 on the dial. Traffic at this time is slow, and we thank you for tuning in to our station. The campaign for the legislative elections in our country will be over in just two days. former French colony, underwent a successful transition to multi-party politics in 1992, after three decades of authoritarian rule. 